Hi guys, Vitek here, Blueberry Hill. So here I'm working on the 350. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, going to change the uh, injector harness external pigtail. I got it from Alliant uh, Power. Uh, this is for that generation of uh, uh, F250, F350, 7.3 liters. And basically it's just a matter of uh, cutting cutting the wires that are there on the old pigtail and uh, soldering the new and using heat shrink, heat shrink around the, the wires to make everything kosher. So here's my version of that. Um, it's no fun doing this. You're basically laying in the engine bay trying to solder and get the wires in there and then uh, make sure you have the heat shrink over the right place. So anyway, I did a time lapse on this because uh, it's, it's kind of tedious. Um, whoever, if you guys are going to try, you know, soldering uh, in the engine bay is always fun. Um, just make sure you got a nice hot soldering iron and uh, some, some lead and uh, zinc uh, solder. Um, don't use uh, plumbing solder because it has uh, not the same qualities but anyway uh, we got her done um, just took a little while I did not rush I don't like rushing any of these kind of things I just pick my time kind of relax and take it easy um, try to do it right uh, one time not more than once so and, uh, you might uh, this is kind of like a follow-up of the last week's fix I did the uh, I had the injector cup crack uh, issue on the truck I fixed that last week uh, I barely got the truck running because it was dead on for, uh, the passenger side bank. I ordered a new harness, threw it in, and all of a sudden, magically, the truck ran perfectly after that. The bad part was I was hauling a trailer, uh, making some errands, and uh, this bank went dead again. And I, it was no fun trying to get home. I, uh, I had to, I had the trailer, which uh, if you guys ever experienced driving on just one bank. Um, it barely can go 15, 20 miles an hour uh, at full throttle. Uh, runs horribly, has no torque, um, and then you throw a trailer on that. It's no good. Anyway, made it home. Um, ordered the pigtail, and I got it in yesterday. And I sort of put it in today. Uh, it wasn't a big, big ordeal. It's basically just uh, take your time, cut the wires, get get some good solder on there. Definitely heat shrink. Um, and by the way, I'm not a big fan of using flame to heat shrink heat shrink tubing. I always think that's a horrible idea because you don't know how hot you're getting the thing. Use a heat gun. It's very controlled. You can see what the, the, the heat shrink's doing and uh, you have no issues with fire. So anyway, I think the, 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 the people that use the, the propane little cigarette lighter thingies and the propane torch are uh, potentially asking for trouble because they don't know how hot the wire's going to get. You can definitely compromise the insulation, etc. But anyway, that's just my two cents but here it is the uh, there's my heat, heat gun uh, I basically put all the uh, heat shrink on the cables while I was doing it and then I did all the heat shrinking all at once and then I tried to uh, I didn't have any uh, wrap for the wires but I used the electrical tape I used the wrap that came off the old one uh, it was very short but I still used it put it all together clicked it in and then in a moment you're gonna see the truck fire up so it was a uh, good success and uh, happy to have it done right all these wires these are broken on the bottom I think these, these three or four are compromised I think the uh, injector uh, the glow plug wires are on the ends are fine 
these three in the middle are not so good there's broken wires right there see that on top as well i have a feeling these guys were arcing or whatever they were doing hey guys we take your blueberry hill so here's an episode with the uh, the f350 the 2002 f350 it's got the 73 liter uh, i've been chasing uh, all kinds of gremlins on this thing it's been a uh, most of the, the kind of a pita truck um it doesn't just let me drive it and uh, make it work i have to constantly play with it um, and I don't know sooner or later. I'm gonna replace everything on it So it'll be just a perfect truck after I'm done, but here's a little tip. I uh, I replaced the um, External injector pigtail I'll call it um, today truck runs awesome right now uh, with the injector uh, rebuild shim kit plus the new cups um, It's running super smooth at the moment. It was a few days ago before this failed <laughs> um, You can see very close that uh, there's a bunch of wires that are exposed there's even a crack uh, on, on one of these connectors and uh, I just replaced it thinking that the, the commonality there um, it was always on the passenger side oh, the, the bank just went dead um, so I threw a couple of parts at it this is one of them this is the injector harness it goes under the valve cover uh, 55 bucks from Amazon I don't know what it cost somewhere else don't care um, anyway I did uh, I tested it and I knew that wasn't a problem. Um, actually, there's a new one inside the truck. Um, but when I was running around a couple days ago, the truck failed um, because of this guy. So I had trouble getting home. I got home finally. It took me two and a half hours to drive uh, roughly 20 miles because <laughs> it was running on just the driver's side uh, cylinders. Uh, has no power without all, four, all eight running. Uh, six or seven would have been okay, but uh, four, no bueno. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I tested the harness. I'm sure anybody who does electric work, continuity testing is kind of important to see if you have uh, a solid conductor. So that's how I found out the, the valve cover, this little guy. Uh, didn't need replacing either, although I put a new one in just for the uh, rubber part. So just to seal up the oil. But in any case, I'm going to show you how to test it. It's pretty easy. So to test the continuity and stuff, basically you use the uh, resistance, I get it on, on beep so that if I have a good continuity, try saying that fast three times, it beeps. So we're going to test all these wires, basically it's pretty straightforward. Um, the valve cover is just a pass through, it's just connectors, so I'm just going to throw, I've got an alligator clip on one and the other, all good. Hear my dog barking in the background there. Same thing here. And just keep doing that on all the conductors. Uh, the one that's common is the neutral, which is the middle middle one. Um, obviously, if that one fails, that whole bank goes out. Okay, so you just run through those. Check them all. Make sure that you actually do get a continuity on these. Uh, typically, they don't. these might not go bad, but obviously, we change it for the silicone here. It gets a little bit dry. This is an old one, uh, so it's not the best condition, but uh, it probably still would have worked just fine. I replaced it because I thought, uh, you know, I was in the, doing the injectors, so I might as well put the new parts in there. Uh, so to test the harness, pretty straightforward. You know, you don't know where all the connectors actually go, but the common one is black, right? So you, the, the center one's the important one there. And basically all you have to do is find a, I'll put the pin in the middle one here to show you guys. And then any, any of the blacks, and they all, they all were good. So I knew the harness was still okay. There you go. So the neutral's good through the harness, the injector harness. That would be the one that would take out probably the whole bank if there was a problem with it. Um, turns out the external connector, that's this one, which was very highly compromised underneath. You couldn't, I couldn't see that until I actually pulled it apart and uh, looked at it. Um, I didn't break that, that was already done. It almost looks like there was some arcing right here, maybe. Um, but the wires look a little pooched right there, so whatever happened, um, not when I had the truck, somebody probably like bent this over completely flat or something like that, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. But anyway, to just test the, the rest of the harness, so we knew this was bad, but the harness, uh, the, the uh, glow plugs, you just have to find which one it is. Um, there you go. Two on the outside of the glow plugs. So if these are good, you know that the glow plugs are fine. And it seems like the outside ones are the very far ones and the two inside are the two inside ones. And then the rest of the ones are just the injectors. So 
find out which injector. There you go, I got lucky on that one. Next one over, kind of makes sense. There we go. And then this side. So they're, they're, they're kind of in order. You can see that the voltmeter's jumping, so we're all good. So, oops, I'll plug that in better. There we go. So this is good, the valve cover connectors are good. Uh, this was definitely the bad part. Um, I did throw uh, a new one in last week after I did the injectors. I'm trying to fire it up, it only ran on four. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that um, on the, vid the prior F350 video. But uh, in any case, I thought it was the injector harness, so I bought a new one, put it in, and it worked. Um, and I have a feeling when the truck warmed up and all that stuff, this thing came into play and uh, caused the commotion a couple of days ago where I barely barely got home. I actually, in fact, had to leave my trailer with some uh, PVC stuff working on the house um, down the road, a couple, two, three miles down the road. Had to get my Tundra, go pick up the trailer, and then I was good. Anyway, we got it fixed. Later.